ratio. This module will explain the basics of ratio. The cost of car is rupees 3 lakhs and cost of car is rupees 5 lakhs. We can compare the cost of both cars and say that by 2 lakhs. This type of comparison where comparison between two quantities is done by finding difference is called comparison by difference. The cost of car is rupees 15 lakhs. We can compare the cost of cars and say 5 times costlier. This type of comparison where we divide the two quantities is called the comparison by division. Comparison by division is also called ratio. A ratio is a comparison of two similar quantities obtained by dividing one quantity by the other. Ratios are written with a colon symbol. Example, to find the ratio between 4 and 8, we divide both the quantities and write 4 upon 8. Then, we simplify the fraction and write the fraction as 1 upon 2 or 1 is to 2. Some important results regarding ratio are 1. Ratio is just a number. It does not have any unit. This is because it is a comparison or relation between two quantities. 2. Ratio can be expressed with quantities that have same unit. For example, we can compare 4 miles and 10 miles with the help of ratio, but we cannot compare 4 kg and 10 meter with the help of ratios. 3. Two quantities A and B can be represented using ratio as A is to B. Now, A is to B is different from B is to A. For example, 2 is to 3 is different from 3 is to 2. Example, find the ratio between A, 400 meter and a kilometer. B, 50 pesa and 2 rupees. Explanation First, we need to convert the quantities in same units as ratio can be found in quantities of same units. The ratio of these quantities can be found by dividing the first quantity with the second. A. 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. Now, required ratio is equal to 400 meter divided by 1000 meter. So, the ratio is 400 by 1000 which is equal to 2 is to 5. B. 1 rupee is equal to 100 pesa. So, 2 rupees is equal to 200 pesa. The required ratio is 50 upon 200 which is equal to 1 is to 4. Example, Ravi earns rupees 3000 per month. If his monthly expenditure is rupees 2700, find the ratio of his saving to his income. Explanation Ravi's monthly income is rupees 3000. His monthly expenditure is rupees 2700. So his monthly saving is rupees 300. Now, the ratio of his saving to his income is equal to 300 upon 3000 which is equal to 1 is to 10. Example, there are 14 girls and 20 boys in class 6A. Find the ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys. Explanation, required ratio is equal to number of girls upon the number of boys, which is equal to 14 upon 20 or 7 is to 10. Two ratios are equivalent if we can get the second ratio by multiplying or dividing the first ratio by the same number.